Hello my soccer universe, this is in a way uh, more of a difficult video to make than I was imagining and I wanted to do a, such a video for a while, uh, like more on storage, but you know it fits now in a larger context. I was doing, as you should do, my, you know, updating my list of shirts and I knew I'm well over 300 and once I completed it with all and you know shooting quite a few unpacking videos to be posted over more or less the almost the summer because uh, there are many and I want to only do one a week I realized I have hit the magic mark 365 a sh one shirt for every day of the year now uh, given that few of those are museum pieces um, <laughs> that I should not wear any anymore I'm not gonna have a shirt for every day of the year but still it was always kind of the mark that I had I also had always this nagging feeling and I have made a video you know when I showed you my entire European national collection which of course has grown meanwhile I'm running out of space I'm literally running out of space and I have been doing some reworking you know my collection does not fit in my closets anymore I have one big closet with my um, national teams for most of the season unless there's internationals then I put them here uh, on the rack where on the rack I have now all the club shirts hanging that I want to use for my review videos in a way then I have a smaller side closet where I do all the remaining club shirts and then I had to do some rearranging already I decided actually to you know some of the shirts that I'm using uh, I'm wearing quite often and I had some space in the closet so maybe let's not hang them I always want to hang my entire collection but I don't have the space anymore and hangers don't get thinner and if they get thinner they get more flimsy so I decided to I have two drawers one big one uh, that I'll show you here where I just rolled up the jerseys that I'm actually wearing more often than not so let's put them in there and I still am I have a little bit of wiggle room there but I still it is getting rather rather tight and in order to tell you I mean in order to make uh, space in the larger closet I actually took out I had four, four or five suits I'm not wearing suits anymore who is wearing suits these days I mean yes uh, if you have a job where it needs to yes when I was at the university it was nice to pull out one or two suits but some of them are already too tight any, any, anyway because you know I'm slightly bigger man than I used to be 20 years ago I'm not gonna plan on doing many job interviews I mean maybe I will have to do uh, you know for special occasions like uh, you know at Christmas I wear suits uh, and uh, maybe if there's a uh, wedding or funeral and if it's not too hot I may pull out the suit but I don't need all of them so put a few out I'm planning to put them out for sale and open some space up there so every all my hanging racks are now for shirts because all the other sh the stuff i can nicely store in other drawers in my closet that i have i even took out the hockey jerseys and i hung them very nicely here in my room on the side on, on the side wall in kind of a little bit of an arrange but i'm really pleased with how i did that one so those are also nicely stored away but I'm still running out of space and the way I am I am always looking to add always looking to add and I know this is probably for most collectors a familiar feeling and I realized that one other problem that I have is that I'm hanging on to shirts probably a little bit too much and I'm still all of the shirts that I'm having they are I don't want to say like my children because you know although I joke with my children about that but you know what, what I mean, I'm really, really fond of these. But uh, then I went through the collection and I said, well, I guess some of the shirts I will have to let go because it does not really make sense uh, to have them, uh, to have them, they don't add much value. Now, uh, there are a few parameters when I went through the entire collection. Uh, my Lusk and my Milan jerseys, not gonna let go of that one. I also have, meanwhile, a nice collection for Austria shirts, Italy shirts especially, also a France collection, not gonna, not gonna touch these because the ones that I probably could let go, uh, they're still too special to me to let go of them. 
So, you know, um, doubles, not gonna happen. Uh, but I looked, where do I have doubles? Because, you know, or where do I have uh, teams that don't uh, make much sense anymore? Now, uh, as you know, in my videos, I don't call the second leagues, or, you know, the second tiers in a way. So uh, it would be easy to say, well, all the teams get, get, get relegated. I'm going to sell off. No, because they may come back. I'm in here for the long game. And for some of them, I actually think they will come back. And yes, sometimes you can improve on shirts as well. So the process is a, I need to slow down which is really, really, really hard for me, but I need to slow down. The second part is what shirts uh, can I let go of? I mean, one immediate was this Feyenoord shirt here, because that was always a bugbear for me. I compromised on that one. I got a nicer one meanwhile. So put that up for sale. It's in really good condition. Put it up for sale for now. The next one is this Bayern shirt over there. Uh, it was really useful for this season because it is a similar, similar-ish design to what they were using. But on, honestly, I got it for next to no money. I will sell it for next to no money because it is a little bit beaten up. But I thought, yeah, I can get let go of this, this one because I have already uh, three other Bayern shirts. I don't need four in a way. Then this Ajax shirt down here. Um, was a gift from my brother, it was his shirt, but frankly, it's an M, I'm not wearing it, it's probably the most over, I mean, there are people who love that one, for me it's a little bit over design, and I have plenty of Ajax home shirts, so we can let go of this one. Uh, when I went, I have three Liverpool home shirts, of all the ones, I mean, when I got it, this was my first Liverpool, I was really, really uh, happy that I have it. But the other two I have are just nicer. And I like nice shirts. This one never really did it for me. And then lastly, and that is one um, that is probably gonna sell out the quickest. I decided to let go of this Argentina jersey because I have others that A, are near and dearer to the, to the heart for me. And I never really liked this one, although this is a Team Geist shirt. Never was really a fan of this one. Uh, it I got it as part of a package deal. It is beaten up a little bit, so also this will go for cheap. Uh, be, uh, but I really don't need it in my collection any, uh, anymore. And then the one where I'm still going back, back and forth whether I should post this is Kievo shirt. Um, I have a good connection. It is double XL. I'm not wearing it anymore, uh, and Kievo does not exist anymore. So I may pull it up for sale, however, just because of there's a horse on the side and, and so on. My kids love this shirt. It's a very loud shirt. I have the full kit, so it would go up as a full kit. Uh, but if, but frankly, I'm not so sold on it, on the, honestly. So yeah, these are my things. Uh, I have still a few shirts coming. But I guess the reasonable thing is to kind of hold off a little bit for now. Take stock, see how I can find uh, different storage ideas and maybe you can drop a line below um, what you are doing. The one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to store my jerseys away in a box. Because I like to see them regularly. I like to take them out and, and, and exchange them. I mean, all of these shirts that I have hanging here, 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 here in the rack, I touch them at least once a week because I'm changing the backgrounds. I'm, look, I'm looking at it, sometimes even going back. Is this one? Sure, 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 sure. This one. Is there a shirt that I have not been hanging for a while? Maybe I should just use this one uh, in, instead. So I, I really put some thought into, in, into it. And putting the jerseys away in a box is already bad enough that I have them now in a drawer. But these are shirts that I'm actually wearing out. So in that sense, I don't want to store them away in a box. Maybe, maybe for the relegated teams, I could imagine doing that. But then I don't like that they are sealed away. And, they, and then the problem is also, where do we put the box? Although maybe I could find a way there. So yeah, that's the state of my collection. It's my... 
<laughs> annual state of the collection address. <laughs> I'm saying it with a whole lot of irony. Uh, it is not one where I say, you know, I want to buy it. I mean, I'm going now through the eight leagues. I would like to have for every European participant uh, there, I would like to have a jersey doing rather, rather, rather well. But I think Brighton might be a challenge. Uh, I guess I may have to buy the uh, new jersey. Uh, let's see if I, what I can find somewhere or, you know, if you have uh, anything, let me know. Uh, there are other teams out there a little let's see how it is in the how it will end in the Netherlands uh, Portugal and so on, but you know um, Overall, I think I'm in good shape um, And I would like to have of each league unless I do combined videos I would like to have like 12 if not 13 jerseys that would be also another ideal, but you know I can get by with that. so yeah let, let me know what you think about my dilemma. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of this type. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.